From the beginning of human civilization and the first method of communication between humans, there has been a need to find ways to predict the fate of individuals and for the masses' destiny. On 12th and 21st of December 2012, many predicted a multitude of disasters. But on December 12th, in a magical moment in the Miami Circle, mystics, scientists, entrepreneurs come together to write a new chapter in the history of mankind as the beginning of a new era. Do the crystal skulls hold the secret to a better world? Delano Cuauhtémoc, who was the last Mexican emperor, in that tomb, I'm pretty sure, is one of the descendants of the Atlas. Atlas is a king of Atlantis because Moctezuma was the queen of Atlantis. And when he arrived in the flow, they come to refuge in the circle in Miami. From there was the big parade Aztec to Mexico. From Mexico, they followed to Machu Picchu. More than I have my sacred involvement that my teachers gave me, I have the baton from my father. I inherit that and I hold it, and that gives me the power to teach and to do. Then I have that legacy that I have been given in each ceremony in my teachers and masters. At this moment, at this age, I can do a lot of ceremonies and bring the blessings of power to all human beings. Looking at the archaeology of Mexico, the artifacts, and especially the crystal skulls that we found in Yucatan. And so this time here in Mexico and the United States, I'm here to coordinate some of the new research that is going on with the use of certain optical engineering and also the use of certain types of equipment to look at the vibratory resonance of the crystals that we find in certain skulls. Well, we were living in amazing times of discovery, going beneath the ocean with our submarines, our oceanic expeditions to find, as we have found in Japan, off the coast of Yonaguni and Taiwan ancient pyramids. We have discovered along the coast of Yucatan and Cuba artifacts that suggest there was an earlier civilization. The work is to harmonize archaeology, anthropology, with also the space sciences to give us a new interpretation of all history, suggesting that there were, shall we say, global navigational systems that connected this part of the world with civilizations in Europe, Africa, and possibly other parts of the world. So we are putting together a new roadmap of how the past, through the crystal skulls, which are also used as an exemplifying form of housing knowledge, as we found through IBM research with the use of spherical crystals, to give us a deeper understanding of the science of the past that will help us bring humanity together with new knowledge of the interpretation of history looking forward, where we can use this knowledge positively as a general history for all people. In the future, we will be always working together in the memory of the great teachers, philosophers, and I said, you mean the psychic work? And he said, yes. And I said, yes, I do. And he said to me, he, he said, this is God's calling for you. He said, I've been following uh, the newspaper articles about you. And he said, keep it up. And he says, somebody's got to do it. And he says, and, and, you, know, you do good work. I also do like ghost investigations and, and mediumship along with readings for the future. So that was the moment for me that I totally accepted and just let it go and, and you know um, it's fully what I do. As we move forward into a new era more and more people are going to spontaneously open up their psychic ability because it's, it's a natural gift. I personally feel it's something that God has given to all of us. The power of the mind is tremendous and that's where the psychic ability comes through is through your mind. The skulls are also uh, can open up psychic ability. Uh, once the skull came into my life, it seemed as though I was almost forced to do readings. I no longer can just be psychic. I had to do readings, and but it's changed my life. It's 
the beginning of the change I see that's coming now. And it's, uh, you know, I mean, look where we're at. We're in party town, you know, USA, you know, the nightlife capital of the United States. And you have, you know, most important Mayan priestess, you know, 12, 12, 12, you know, in Miami Beach. Think how much energy this skull absorbed tonight. And just think if this skull was sitting in a Mayan temple 4,000 years ago, the energy it was absorbing back then. So imagine how much it's gotten inside of it, you know? There's an enormous amount of information, you know, in these things. It's much greater than, than all of us. It's about all things change as they grow, evolve. We go through these life lessons. We've had 5,000 years of wars. We've had 5,000 years of segregation. We've had, you know, 5,000 years of religious wars. Those were people that never learned to get along with each other. And that's why they self-disintegrated and they don't exist anymore. So you could be that, because that's what it'll be. Or it could be what I think is about to happen. It's about after now, finally, this planet woke up and has come together.